Say hi. Why are you acting like you have no neck? Say hi, darling. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Say hi, YouTube. Oh, you gonna act like you don't smile? You guys, she smiles all the time. I don't know why she's being bougie hey, guys, right now. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Aria update. Say hi, baby. <laughs> she's unimpressed. I woke her up from her nap just to film this video. Like, real commitment issues. But anyway, I thought it would be fun for me to do an update video. Um, kind of tell you guys how she's been doing progress-wise and everything. Aria has been doing super amazing. Um, she's three months today, actually, which is really strange to think that I now have a three-month-old daughter. Like, it's so weird to me, but yeah, she's three months old, and um, yeah, she's been doing super, super good. Like, I'm so impressed and so thankful to God for, like, just giving her the strength to just pull through everything and to continue to excel. Um, she's a really really good baby actually like I don't know like the only time she will ever fuss is if she's hungry but that's normal like other than that she's like a really chill baby this is what you get all the time like she's super chill um, she likes to mean mug like her mama she <laughs> she has this look that she gives you sometimes and it's just like okay yeah you're my child I see it and what I really love is that her personality is like starting to come out like in the morning when she wakes up like I'll smile at her and then she would just start cracking up I don't know anyone that smiles at her she just starts cracking up it's like the funniest thing to her um, even when I'm feeding her her bottle if I smile she will stop and just like start laughing she's just such a happy baby just filled with so much love and so much life and um, I couldn't ask for anything more like she's just so sweet she's gained so much weight which I'm excited about I like chunky babies and, yeah hopefully she doesn't throw up on me because I just fed her but say hi to YouTube they've all been praying for you say hi thank you for all the prayers right thank you for all the prayers and all the love <laughs> She has the longest eyelashes. Oh, I'm so jealous. Like, she's just, I don't know. I'm like, I have to buy my lashes. But you, you just have them. What a waste. But, um, what else? Like, she's still on formula. Um, I stopped breastfeeding one because she wasn't able to tolerate thin liquids. So she's on formula now. And, um, I just thickened the formula with rice cereal. That was one of the things that she came out of the NICU with was um, she was aspirating on thin liquids so she's on thick liquids but she's doing a lot better because now what I started doing is I have started lowering the amount of thin of rice cereal that I put into her formula and I know that she tolerates it really really well so I'm just gonna keep working on that until I completely stop using the rice cereal but um, that's something super minor compared to everything else that she's been through. So I'll take that over anything any day because they were actually going to put a tube in her stomach for me to be feeding her through because they said she wasn't catching on or she wasn't feeding properly. This was like our last two weeks in the NICU where they were like, oh, we're going to put a tube in her stomach. And I refused. My mom refused. Everybody refused. Prayed about it and she came out eating and sucking and she's now I have to ask her to like stop eating because she eats so much but it's amazing how far she's come and um, if thickening her food is what I have to do for now I'll do that anytime any day like that's um, fine I'm thinking about going back to work soon so I don't know what I'm going to do with anxiety of leaving her I'm going to have to find someone that I trust with my life to leave her with um, I don't know, I'm gonna have so much anxiety just leaving her. Like, I can't leave her with anybody. Like, she's she's my handbag. That's what my parents call her. Because every time you see me, I'm either holding her or something. And I have spoiled, that's something else. I have spoiled her so much. Like, now you have to carry her all the time, pretty much, or she would just cry. And that's my fault. I spoiled her only because I didn't get to hold her for so long when she was born and um, she spent all those days in the NICU. So I'm trying to... Are you bored? 
Rude? Are you bored? <laughs> Are you bored? Are you bored? Mommy's talking about you and you're yawning. Are you bored? <laughs> she spent all those days in the NICU and now I'm like, I have to hold her every second, which I know is really bad, so I'm starting to like work on it. Um, she sleeps through the night. Thank God she sleeps through the night. She wakes up twice, actually. She'll wake up at 1 for her feed, and then the next time she'll wake up is at 6. But other than that, she sleeps through the night, and then she's up all day like this. Y'all see that look she's giving? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Hi. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Say hi. Good. And she talks a lot. Like, it's the cutest thing. Like, if I put cartoon on and she would just stare at the cartoon and she would just be making her little cuckoo sounds, her baby sounds. Like, super cute. Um, I don't know. I'm just in a really good place and I'm just so in love with her and just so grateful and just so thankful. Um, Something else that you guys have started to notice. I wasn't going to say anything because sometimes I feel like um, not everything has to be on social media, especially on YouTube. But in a way, I kind of understand because I did introduce him to my channel. So now you guys are kind of like wondering um, what's going on, where he is. And that's basically the big elephant in the room, which is Arya's dad. Um, everyone's been mess. People have messaged me. I didn't think it was that, that obvious. <laughs> I guess I'm not really good at pretending very well. Um, but yeah, we're not together, which is why you guys haven't seen him in my videos. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to go into too much detail because at the end of the day, that's Arya's dad. And I want to I want to respect that as, you know, he's Arya's dad. So I don't want to go into too much detail as to what has happened. But let's just say a lot has happened and basically you just get to a point in life where you're just like why am I treating you better than I'm treating myself and um, I just got to that point and but we're not together um, which is fine and I'm just thankful that I was brought up the way that I was brought up and I'm thankful that I have the parents that I have because I've told you guys so many times on my channel like education is so important and having even if not even if you don't have education having your own is so important and now looking back at it I'm like I'm so thankful that I have my own I have a way of supporting myself I have a way of supporting my daughter because if I didn't have that and I'm now a single mom it would be so hard so stressful but and it's still hard there's some days where like this is my priority 24-7, you know, sometimes I have to cancel on friends, sometimes I can't do certain things that I want to do, um, if I decide to go out, I have to pack her bag before I pack my bag and take care of myself, I have to make sure she's good before, you know, anything else, and of course, it would be so much easier if you had that extra help, if you had your partner as your help, but hey, um, I'm not the only single mom in the world, there are other single, and I'm sure I won't be the last um, but sometimes life, life happens and um, you just got to take it as it goes. But honestly, I have been through so much this last year that I'm just like, there's nothing in this world that can take away my joy, my happiness, my faith, my strength. Like there's nothing life can throw my way that I cannot um, survive through. And if being a single mom is what I need to go through right now, like I'm going to go through it. And continue to hold on to my faith because at the end of the day I know that if I'm going through this rough patch it's because there's something greater to come but I don't really want to go into too much details because like I said y'all I have suffered <laughs> relationship wise I have suffered but um, you know what everything is a life lesson you grow you learn from it I always try to take the positive out of everything um, and um, with everything that Aria has been through, it has really strengthened me to know that there's nothing life can throw my way that I can't get through. And so that's basically that. I'm not going to say too much because then I'm going to catch myself saying things that I shouldn't be saying. I'm trying to 
I'm trying to keep it I don't want to say too much you know, because I'm, I keep trying to remind myself that 10 years from now, your daughter is going to have access to a computer. And you just have to make sure that everything you put online is what you 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 would want her to see you know what i mean and also having her now in my life i just had to decide like um what kind of example do you want to set for your daughter do you want your daughter to grow up thinking that it's okay to settle in a relationship it's okay to be unhappy it's okay to just be stuck or do you want your daughter to be responsible and grown and mature and be assertive and be able to you know not put up with BS if she doesn't have to and basically I just had to decide like blessing you have to be the example that you want Arya to emulate and um, you don't want her to be a liability to no man because that's not how you were raised so sometimes you just have to move on and that's what your 20s are for anyway your 20s are for you to move on from jobs relationships friends whatever it is that's hindering you back and keeping you from growing keeping you from growing in my case keeping me from getting closer to god keeping me from uh, reaching my full potential then that's what i have to do but um yeah so that's basically what what led me to that decision but um i'm in a good place i'm content i'm happy um Seeing her grow and seeing her succeed has brought so much joy to my life and so much joy to my heart. And I know no matter what, we're going to be okay as long as we keep God first. We're going to be alright. So, thank you guys so much for everything, for all the praise, for all the love. Um, if you guys want more of these updates, do let me know. I don't mind doing them. It takes a while to film them because sometimes she's cranky and needs to nap. But other than that, I don't mind filming them. And um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you on my next video. To all of my new subscribers, hi, welcome, thank you for joining the family. Um, I need a name for you guys, I don't know what to call you guys. Um, so, if you guys have any name suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And like that. But other than that, I love you guys. Peace and God bless. Bye.